Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today's video is going to be a favorites video and this is going to be the June, July favorites. As always, we're just going to start off with the makeup products in no particular order and the first is this BB cream by Model Co. It's in the color light. It's daily all-in-one skin perfector bots broad spectrum SPF 30 and I absolutely love this BB cream I think I talked about it in a makeup haul it is one of the best BB creams I have ever used and I'm wearing it on my skin right now I just think it lays down a very nice base it's not drying it isn't overly dewy I guess I just think it does an overall really good job and I'm gonna have to purchase another one of these because this is literally my favorite BB cream ever next up is a concealer by Maybelline and this is the Maybelline New York instant age rewind treatment concealer with goji berry and I don't know how to say the other thing some other chem or not chemical but other, some other thing and basically obviously like I said you saw this in my other makeup haul I don't really need age rewind but I just like that it does a good job of hiding the under eye darkness or veins that sometimes stick out and this is in the color fair next up is a powder by NYX cosmetics and this is the stay matte but not flat powder foundation and again this was in my makeup haul it's just the little pot right there and I absolutely love this foundation to death this is in the color nude and I highly highly recommend this powder foundation because it is just amaze balls pretty much like best best powder I've ever used next up is a product by hourglass and again this was in my makeup haul video and this is the ambient lighting power luminous light powder and it's just this one right here I absolutely love it it adds such a nice glow and or like a healthy glow to your face and I usually pop some of this on after I put on my foundation not foundation sorry my powder foundation my powder after I powder my face that's what I'm trying to say next is a highlighter blush palette and this is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and it comes with the basically just the three top shade we got the blush and then it's kind of like a bronzer -y blush in the middle and then another like highlighter blush on the end there and then the two highlighters for sure on the bottom this palette is just a must-have and you can't purchase it online like on Sephora but if you do have a Sephora near you or you head to a city that has a Sephora go pick this up right away because this is probably limited edition I'm thinking this is the champagne collection face palette so I would think it's not gonna last forever up next is a little tester product that I got from Sephora and you saw it in my makeup haul it is the Bobbi Brown shimmer Brit and I I just think this is the cutest thing ever it's such a beautiful color and I'm wearing it on my cheekbones right now it just adds such a healthy bronzed highlight to your face I absolutely love these shimmer bricks next up is an eyeshadow by covergirl and this is the true naked goldens eyeshadow palette these are new you saw this in my haul video again and the colors are just you know basic brown and golden tones I like I just love them they're my favorite types of uh, eyeshadow colors I'm wearing them right now and I just absolutely love these palettes I have a rose palette as well I just I've only used it once so can't really add that to favorites until I've used it more than once this is definitely a must-have palette if you are new to makeup or you don't want to spend 40 plus dollars on a makeup palette next up is an eyeshadow by Urban Decay and this is the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette I think it's called beauty with an edge that is the palette I love the colors I just think they're I love like the neutrally colors and I've used the neutral ones quite a bit to just make a, a matte neutral eye and I just I just think this palette has got a great range of little colors here I think I got this on sale it was finally on sale on Sephora I don't know if it's still on sale on Sephora so who knows if you can still get it I'm sorry if you can't next up is a mascara by Clinique this is the bottom lash mascara by Clinique obviously and it is doesn't really it's just basically black mascara and it's just got the teeny tiny little brush I love it it's perfect for doing your bottom lashes and I highly recommend any makeup lover who loves putting on mascara go pick yourself up one of the bottom lash mascaras from Clinique next is a lip product and this is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the color Stockholm I have been loving these like matte burgundy not burgundy burgundy is like a red color uh i guess it's just basically a nudie pink color these have been really in right now and i am no exception to that so i really really like these and th there's a fairly decent lasting there's not a lot of transfer and i don't know i just i like them i've got another color on my lip right now this is i can't remember what color this is but that is also a nyx matte lip cream next is a face cleaning product and that is this Clinique take the day off cleansing oil tester and I got this again at Sephora 
to just test it out, obviously. And I am absolutely loving this. This takes off all your makeup very good. Like some days, if I'm feeling super lazy, I'll just use this and then head to bed because it just gets all the makeup and grime and yuckiness off and your skin feels fairly good in the morning. So I highly recommend this. I'll probably be getting like a full size once this is finished. Next up is a hair product and this is the Batiste Ella Henderson Sweet and Seductive Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo. That was a lot of work. Basically, I love the bottle, first of all. The packaging is just cute. And I love Ella Henderson's music as well. And I just find that you saw I liked the other Batiste dry shampoo with the brown tint color to it, which I do have, I had to buy another one of those, but I also try, wanted to try this one, and even though it leaves, like, when you spray it on, it's got a bit of the, like, white, grayish spray stuff that comes out, it blends into your hair fairly well, and I'm really liking it. It smells great, and it gives your hair quite a bit of body, and makes your hair last throughout the day, so that I don't need to shower every single day. I am, like, seriously, my discovery of dry shampoo has been the best thing in the entire world because now I don't have to shower every single day like I used to because it was such a pain in the butt. So thank goodness for dry shampoos. And this last product is a Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist. <laughs> this is in the scent Live Fresh Seaside Breeze. Smells amazing. Mm. Yes. It is just the perfect summer scent, I think, and I've already used quite a bit. Like, that's a lot. You can't really see the where it is, but I absolutely love this fragrance, and you know I love Bath & Body Works, so need I say more? I think this is still in their collection, so you can still pick it up. All right, the last few of my favorites are going to be TV shows and music, I think, yeah. I, I can throw a few music things in there. So basically for TV shows, I have been absolutely assess uh, assessed, 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 <laughs> I've been obsessed, <laughs> and I turned out I'm not crazy. No, I'm kidding. So I have been obsessed with anime shows and I thought about, you know, just telling you which one is my favorite so far, but I think I'm just going to do a video on my top favorite anime shows so far, ones that I recommend, those kind of things. So I'm not going to include anime. I'll just say that right now I'm obsessed with anime, like ridiculously obsessed with anime. I can't believe I've gone so long in my life without watching it. <laughs> I mean, I used to only watch Sailor Moon, and that was the extent of my anime, and then now it's just full-blown obsession. Anyway, other TV shows that I've been really enjoying, firstly, Stranger Things. I'll have it pop up right here. Stranger Things on Netflix. It's a Netflix original. So good. It's suspenseful, sci-fi, supernatural. I absolutely love the show. We're just about done. I think we've got, uh, we'll probably be finished by the time this video goes live, but we got two episodes at this point, and then it's over. Hopefully they do another season, because I heard from some from my camera memory just like filled up and then crashed on me so I don't know what I was saying I think I was, I was talking about Stranger Things just all I need to really say is this is a really great TV show and I highly recommend you guys check it out on Netflix the next one on Netflix is a Japanese one so it's got English subtitles so if you don't like English subtitles or anything that's foreign then you probably won't like this but since I've been into anime I wanted to watch this live action it's kind of like a live action anime but it's gonna pop up right here called Good Morning Call, and I just think it is, it's super entertaining, it's uh, obviously a love story, and it's just, I find it really, really funny, and I'm just about done the series, I think I've got a couple episodes left, but it's just one season, it's really entertaining, I highly recommend you guys go check it out. And lastly for music, I have been loving the song I Know What You Did Last Summer by Shawn Mendes, and I can't remember the girl who does the duet with him, but I would go check that song out. It's really great. I love the beat. And I've been listening to Virginia to Vegas quite a bit. I love his music, and I'm excited for his new album that I think he's putting out pretty soon. So A plus on that music, Virginia to Vegas. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. And that is it. That is all my favorites for the last two months here. Yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. And I will see all you fine people next time. Bye.